Okay, we're just going to do a little uh, comparison of crop performance between Lightroom 5 and the new Lightroom CC. Uh, I'm on the Retina 5K iMac and one of the things that I found annoying about Lightroom on this machine uh, up until this stage was that crop performance really suffered. Sometimes it was better than others, um, but it really could occasionally slow down to be very, very annoying. So I've got an image uh, from a recent wedding here. Um, it's been fairly thoroughly worked on, um, but we're gonna do some cropping to it and hopefully show the difference. So first of all, Lightroom 5. So I'm gonna click the crop tool. Takes a moment for that to load. Um, I don't want that moment to be there. <laughs> then I'm gonna um, just drag it in, um, position things how I want them, and then click the button again. And normally there's a significant pause here. Yeah, there's that quite significant pause while Lightroom thinks about the crop it's going to do. Um, I'm the sort of photographer who crops quite a lot after the fact, so it adds up and tends to take quite a significant amount of time out of my workflow. So also if I was to rotate this image, um, let's, uh, let's go back a couple of frames, let's take this image and let's mess around with this and rotate it. So click the tool, takes a while to get in there. Um, let's crop, you can see that the, the crop, uh, the rotation rather is slightly jerky. Um, <clears throat> let's bring that down and then if we click. See, that wasn't too bad that time, but what it did do is it came out of the crop mode and it was already showing me my original uh, crop and it was only after that that it kind of caught up with itself and, and showed us what, it, what we wanted. Let's just try it one more time, just to kind of give an idea. Let's um, bring this out a little bit. And there's that pause that I really don't want to see. So that's uh, crop performance in Lightroom 5. Okay, so now we're gonna try the same thing, but in Lightroom CC. So crop tool, no delay whatsoever. Um, make an adjustment and boom. Yes, there is some um, rendering after the crop dialogue is uh, closed, but it's just so much quicker. Everything's just, you know, it's silky now in a way that it kind of wasn't before. Um, it's also worth saying that I haven't rendered uh, the large previews that are part of Lightroom CC now um, with this uh, set of images. So uh, it might be worth checking out whether rendering um, very large previews, for example, on my retina display, that would be um, previews at 5,120 pixels, whether that would um, mean that they there didn't have to be that kind of rendering moment after exiting the crop tool. So we'll just um, put this back how it was and jump to the other image that I was playing with last time. So <clears throat> now in the CC, um, straight in. Again, there is that little delay at the end, but um, you can get on with stuff, it feels like. Um, let's just try that. Can I, for example, get straight in? Yeah, so it's, it's way quicker. Massive improvement. So I thought I'd just do one more crop test. So I'm in Lightroom CC and uh, I've got it set up in the catalog settings to do standard preview size at auto, which is 5,120 pixels. So what I've done is I've just rendered standard previews on this folder and let's go back and jump into the develop module and just try cropping <clears throat> um, once again. So really, really fast to get in there. Let's uh, go to something like that. <clears throat> yeah, so there's still a little bit of rendering, but um, uh, it's much quicker than Lightroom 5.6 uh, on this computer in this regard. It seems that rendering uh, standard previews at 5,120 pixels isn't going to make a huge difference 
um, to the crop performance, but um, when you set Lightroom CC against Lightroom 5.6, the difference is um, significant. And over the course of a long edit, it is going to be a lot more efficient. It is going to be a lot less frustrating, uh, kind of waiting for things to uh, snap into place um, as they did in Lightroom 5.6. Okay.